I don't drink a lot of liquids before I go to bed, but I'm still waking up three or four times a night to go to the bathroom to urinate. I don't go as frequently during the day. Do I have an overactive bladder? Welcome to the show, Amanda. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good to be here. So, <laughs> men and women both experience this. It's much like our last segment. Men and women both sometimes drink too much alcohol, but, mm -hmm. right. but very so common be, theme with women. Very common theme, yes. Cystitis, which is a bladder inflammation or infection, um, is usually, typically, what causes this. But you can't rule out other things. So if it's really keeping you up at night, um, you should go see your doctor, get your urine tested to see if there's any bacteria in there. Uh, because this can, you know, cause burning sometimes and inflammation. Keep, it's keeping you up at night. That's the biggest problem. Exactly. Absolutely. It can also cause All pressure. Hours. Sometimes some people just will have this well, pressure, this frequent pressure. No. But with men, it could also be like prostatitis and things like that. So you have to get it checked out because you don't know if it's that yeah. or if it's an over... There, there are two different things, overactive bladder and um, cystitis or bladder infection. And both have, can have the same symptoms, though. So what you need to do is go to your doctor and have them check it out. Yeah, because, I mean, a lot of us get up once, maybe twice, and that's normal. But, you mm -hmm. know, getting up Not every... Us, every, <laughs> every <laughs> getting up every two hours or three yeah, hours, that's, big that's too much. That's, yeah. that's too much. And we've talked about the importance of getting a good night's sleep. Yes. If you're not getting, you know, sustained four hours of sleep at a time, then you really need to work it up. And as, as Dr. Lisa said, it may be something in the bladder. They're going to run, mm -hmm. run you through some tests. Mm -hmm. Maybe your bladder isn't expanding. Uh, it's called compliance. Right. And that could actually be something that's inside. It could be a cyst on your ovary that's gotten large or something on your uterus that's gotten large and it's compressing. So that's why the most common thing is cystitis. And, and, and that you can, you know, just with a simple urine test, urine analysis at your doctors, they can tell that. And if it still continues, then you may need other studies like an ultrasound or something to determine exactly what's going on with your, you know, bladder or surrounding area. Yes. You know, you mentioned a bladder infection or a UTI. You know, in mm -hmm. kids, often, you know, something parents need to look out for is if their kids have been potty trained. And, you know, for at least six months, and then they kind of revert to a lot of daytime wetting. That itself, even without fever or complaining or of pain, that could be a sign of something going on in the bladder, like an infection, too. Oh, interesting. Sounds like this is actually keeping you up at times. Right. Because interestingly, in Europe, a recent study looked at people with overactive bladder at night, and they actually found a correlation with sleep apnea. Which, it doesn't sound like that's the case for you, but people out there who are suffering from sleep apnea, we've talked about it before on the show, sleep apnea is where numerous times during the night you can literally stop breathing. Sometimes it's just for a few seconds. Sometimes it can be for up to a minute. This can happen throughout the night, and people with sleep apnea were actually found to have problems with overactive bladder. And so if you're at home suffering from this, that's another avenue And it's a continuum. I mean, you know... You may just be a snore and not have sleep apnea, and that, in fact, can, can wake you up as well. And you wake up and you go, oh, you know what? I guess I can go to the bathroom. And that's mm -hmm. my sister. She does say I am a heavy snorer, like, because her room used to be by mine, so. So the, fir the first step is to get a formal evaluation of your urinary tract to make sure that that's all mm -hmm. okay. And if that isn't, you know, then at least nowadays doctors are saying, well, maybe this could be something completely unrelated. Mm -hmm. or seemingly unrelated, like sleep apnea.